Hello and welcome back to Dukascopy TV. Now my next guest some of you may recognize as a financial expert, but today he joins us in the studio to discuss the health and well-being of busy professionals. Chris Thomas, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Natalie. Okay, so stress in the workplace is mm -hmm. something that we will probably all experience at some point in our professional working career. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about it and also perhaps ways to, to manage this? Absolutely. Workplace stress affects around 70% of people in an office environment. Now that's seven out of every 10 of your colleagues are currently feeling some sort of stresses due to the work. Now, a lot of people would say that it's because of a bad boss or maybe you've got unhappy colleagues. But one other important factor is the fact that a lot of people have got a very poor diet. A poor diet means that there's lack of nutrients going into your body and a lack of good quality nutrients means that your body cannot perform at its best when it's under pressure or a lot of stress during the day. So we've all heard you know, five a day fruit and veg, the most important thing, but actually a Harvard University public health report has stated that, that the five a day may not actually be enough. Absolutely, yeah, the Harvard report it states that you should have up to 13 portions of fruit and veg every day. So yeah, absolutely, five a day is not enough. And during the day, when you're eating your meals, you should have at least half of every meal involving vegetables. So that's quite a lot of vegetables you're taking in, but your body needs these. Now, this study took place over 14 years and it involved 110,000 men and women. So it is really a comprehensive report and study and this one of the conclusions from this was that people who eat between seven and eight portions of fruit and veg every day have been shown to have reduced blood pressure levels lower levels of possible cancers and also the lower probability of heart attacks Okay, so let's bring this in sort of on a more personal level. I know obviously yep. you've become sort of quite the expert in all of this of late. Walk us through, what would your daily diet be then? Okay, well, I wake up every morning and one of the first things I do is I go to my juicer and I prepare a fresh raw vegetable juice, which consists of between three and five vegetables, carrots, courgettes, peppers, maybe some ginger, maybe half an apple or something like that. Really good nutrients into my body to get my day to get my body started for the day. I'll perhaps follow that on with a bowl of porridge or a protein shake. Now, through the day as I'm going, I'll have handfuls of nuts, I'll have some bits of fruit, small fruit, and occasionally carrots or celery. For dinner, I always look to have some sort of meat, chicken or fish, and lots and lots of vegetables. It's important to get as many vegetables in your body as possible, a variety of them different colours is the key. Okay, so then what would you advocate to the busy working professional as, as their ideal balanced diet? Okay, well, an ideal balanced diet should include most of what we have on the screen. However, I disagree with the, the pasta and the bread, but definitely you should have lots of fish and meats and as many different colours of vegetables as possible. You're looking to get the full spectrum of nutrients into your body each and every day. And where you can't get your full spectrum of nutrients, perhaps your local supermarkets just don't provide the opportunity for you. You should be looking to take nutrient capsules because you have to get these different energies and different nutrients in your body to give you the energy for a positive day every single day. I would perhaps also argue that the cookies can be left out of the balanced diet as well. Chris, thank you so much for coming in today. Really appreciate your insights. Welcome. That's all we've got time for right now, but we'll be back again with another exclusive interview for you on Dukascopy TV, so don't go away. Goodbye.